Let's talk about the profile dynamics section, control from these knobs and switches. The six encoders will control the value of the parameters and these switches decide whether we're working on the comp or the gate. Let's start with the comp. I'll switch the comp on right here and I turn the threshold down with this encoder. As I turn it down, you'll see on the left hand side by the switches, the gain reduction appearing. I can also see the gain reduction on a smaller scale above the fader on the channel. Then we have ratio, attack, then release. As I change the knee, you'll see it changing the value curve between them. And then finally we have gain to make sure that we maintain the energy of the signal through the process. I'll just bypass the comp so that we can have a good look at the gate. I use the switch here so that now the encoders are controlling the functions and the parameters of the gate. I switch the gate on here and you can instantly see the gain reduction in the switches and a little red, yellow, green traffic light here above the channel. Let's go through all the values that we're controlling on the encoders. Start, of course, with threshold, move on to ratio, attack, hold, release, and of course range. Let's compare that to the SXL24C. You can see that the encoders that control all of the parameters of the gate and the compressor are available at all times. Gate on the top, compressor on the bottom. So let's switch on the comp here and change the threshold and instantly you'll see that there's a gain reduction on the screen in the middle of the desk and also on the specific channel that we're working on. The six basic functions we looked at on the profile are here on the SXL. Threshold, ratio, attack, knee and release. This means the exact values I had in my show file and profile are now here, but with the SXL's greater dynamic range. Switch that off and look at the gate. Again, the six basic values that we explored on the profile are the first six encoders on the gate. And as soon as we change the thresholds, you can see the traffic lights on the screen and on the channel. In the same order as the profile, we have threshold, Ratio, attack, hold, release, and of course range. I do have some extra controls of the dynamic section on the profile, but they're mouse only in the software. We're looking at the gate, and you can see that I have some filters. I can turn a high pass and a low pass filter on to make the gate frequency conscious. I can listen to the effect of those filters in my monitor bus to make sure I'm zoomed in on exactly the right frequencies. I can also sidechain my gate to any channel or even a fixed return within the desk. The key and switch will turn those filters and sidechain on. On the compressor, I have the same functionality. I have the filters, low pass and high pass. I can turn them on and off. Of course, I can listen to them to make sure I have the right frequency. And key in will switch those filters on. If I've enabled the sidechain in the gate section of the dynamics, the same channel that is used to trigger the gate will also apply to the compressor. On the 24C, all that software only functionality is now here in the knob module on the right hand side. Let's switch the comp on. The high pass filter and the low pass filter for the compressor are right here. The equivalent filters for the gate are exactly where you'd expect them to be above on the yellow encoders. The key listen switches are conveniently placed right next to the filters for easy access. I'll just turn those filters on by pressing on the key and switch. Next up is the sidechain. The sidechain source is a software only function. Right now we're looking at the compressor. And my source can be any channel or even something that's plugged directly into the console without going through a channel. And I can choose top of channel, insert return, or prefader post mute for that pick off point. Now let's look at the gate. A separate source, unlike the profile, the SXL allows us to choose a different channel to be the trigger for the gate or the comp. And in fact, I've chosen self so that you can see that the gate and the comp have different sidechain sources. Mm -hmm.